What's poppin' everybody? I know around this time of the year is a time when a lot of people sleep in and take the mornings to be lazy, but in this video, I'm gonna be going over five ways that you can kickstart your morning off right. So if all you productive people out there ready to make some money moves, then let's wait no longer. Let's get it rolling. Alrighty, so as I said in this video, I'm going to be going over some things that I find wakes me up quicker, boosts my well-being, but also boosts productivity. And the real quick easy things that you can start applying to your routine tomorrow. And so tip number one that I found to be very effective, and it may be something that you might not like to hear at first, but it could be exactly what you need, is to set your phone on the other side of the room. Yep, I know that one might have stung a little bit, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some time. Yes, I'm sure almost everyone watching this has wasted more time than they'd like to scrolling through their phone either before bed or right after they wake up. And it is a fun, nice little thing that most of us use as an excuse to help us wake up. Yeah. All right. But usually it tends to span longer than we'd like to and then before you know it, we're just wasting the time in our day. And so instead of having your phone right next to you on your nightstand or on your bed, maybe instead try to find an outlet on the other side of your room or somewhere a little bit harder to reach. And so when that alarm clock rings, that annoying ear wrenching sound, you're going to have to get up out of bed in order to turn it off. And so when it forces you to get out of bed right away, you're less likely to go get comfy back in bed, thus you'll be ready to get rocking. And so after this, you could transition directly into tip number two, which is to move. Now before you hit me with the eye roll, just listen. This is a tip where you can have the most creative freedom. You can do as little or as much of it as you'd like, but I've always liked implementing some kind of movement into my morning routines. Now some examples that I personally have used in the past or currently use now to move around a little bit, many times I'll like to pick an exercise to attack a weakness of mine. For example, maybe you get called bird chest in a locker room gym class. Then after you wake up, you move around a little bit, maybe you can just pop out some push-ups. Or maybe you're trying to grow your Volkswagen 5000. Then to get the blood flow and the heart pumping a little bit. Hey yo, what the? Then maybe you can do some exercises for the donk donk like sumo squats or glute bridges. It could be just a few reps, just a couple minutes, but if your heart just starts beating a slight bit faster or you get one tiny grain of sweat, it'll be worth it. And so now for tip number three, this could pair nicely with our previous tip as well, but you should definitely start drinking water right when you wake up. When you're sleeping stagnant for six, seven, eight, nine hours, right when you wake up, you need to rehydrate yourself. Start the day out strong with your water consumption and just knock out maybe 16, 20 ounces. But I notice when I drink some water right when I wake up, it clears my mind, it makes my body feel better, and you're not just starting your day off running on fumes. Now tip number four might be one of the most underrated yet. Shortly after you wake up, go through some breathing exercises. Boring. Now before you call me a hippie or boring, I promise it could take no time or it could take more time if you do prefer it. Me personally, I like to do my breathing while I'm in the cold shower, but for the people who preach cold showers, I feel a lot of its benefit comes from that shock that it gives you and it forces you to take big deep breaths. And I feel like when you close your eyes to breathe, once you open them, it's almost like the world gets bigger. Two little cycles that I like to do is inhale for eight seconds, hold for 10 seconds, and then slowly control your exhale for another 10 seconds. That 10 second exhale is always the hard part, but really controlling it is what does the magic. And another one I like to do is the box breathing technique of sevens. So seven second inhale, seven second hold, seven second exhale, and then seven second hold with the exhale. Now for tip number five. This one's very simple, very straightforward. I like to organize something. Now this will be the only time, I repeat, the only time I promote procrastination. Sometimes I like to save just a small, short task that you'd be able to knock out in a couple minutes. Instead of doing it the night before, I'll hold it off till the next morning. And so that after you finish up your morning routine, you can just knock that task out and it kind of gives you some momentum to knock out more and more tasks. An example of this could be doing your laundry. This is something that takes mere minutes and it's very easy, takes minimal effort. And like I said, it can be as easy or as difficult as you want. And I believe that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed those five tips. Each one takes hardly any time at all. So just setting aside a tiny fraction of your day to do these things could have a great impact on the rest of your day. And I mean, that's worth it, right? Now, before you guys go, I have a pretty big announcement. As you know, I'm very close to 500 subscribers. 
subscribers. It's your boy has been plotting something nice that I can do to give back to you guys for supporting me literally every single week. And so I'm going to be doing a giveaway to celebrate my 500 subscribers. This giveaway will be very easy to enter and we'll have a lot of items from brands that you know and love and maybe some others that you might not know yet, but you'll still love. All of the items are from companies that I've used and or recommended on this channel. And it's free to enter, but I'm not going to give any more details until y'all get me to that 500 subscriber mark. So make sure to tell your mother, brother, and your friends to hop on the 9 a.m. gang train because we steady moving. And so I'll catch y'all next Money Moves Monday. We out of here.